Hello, everybody. This is Bench Former Ben. Today, we are going to be looking at Bleacher Reports top 100 NBA players list. Now, this is already like halfway into the season. I don't think they've updated it. So we'll see what they kind of got wrong because it does say predicts up there. But we'll also see where they did a good job. They put some people who did good higher. Some people did bad lower. Um, please make sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Again, we're trying to hit 15 subscribers by the end of the year. So let's try to do that. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. So let's start off with numbers 100 to 96. They have some highlights up here of the players. Number 100, they have Jordan Clarkson. Now with this list, they have like what they think of all the players in there. So we'll see how they think. I think for the bottom half of the players, it won't really be that interesting. I agree with most of this. I think Jordan Clarkson, he is a top 100 player, maybe a little bit below that, but we'll see what they say. They said the Utah Jazz embraced the rebuild by trading Donovan Mitchell and Ringo Barrett, leaving Jordan Clarkson with the remaining go-get-it scores. The team won't many, win in many games. We saw that. They had a great start with Laurie Markkinen, who I don't think is on this list. Uh, but Clarkson will put up numbers, so they think he'll have a good year. I won't read all of these. Just starting you guys off. DeAndre Hunter. He's a good player. Yeah, I agree with this. Let's see. Chris LeVert. Maybe not a top 100 player with the injuries. Wendell Carter Jr. I like him. I think he should be higher former bull. Um, He could have a good season. And I think he is. Mm -hmm. These are all looking pretty good. Moving on to 95 to 91. They have Norman Powell. He's been good this year. Kevin Love. Don't think Kevin Love has done a lot this season. I think maybe you move him outside of the top 100. Definitely not doing the best. He's getting older. He did win a couple of championships. I feel like he'd be higher than 52. Aaron Gordon. He's having a really good year. I'd say maybe you move him up to like the 70s. He's been doing really good. Terry Rozier. He struggled with injuries a little bit, but I think he should be a lot higher than this. Josh Giddy, that's a really cool ranking. Um, young guy, talented, having a pretty good season. Up to 90 to 86. I see Russell Westbrook on here. I don't know. Kyle Kuzma. I think Kyle Kuzma should be a little bit higher than this. He's a good player. He's a pretty good scorer, good offensive guy. Tall, big. Posting some good numbers this year with the Wizards. Keldon Johnson, kind of carrying the Spurs, not going to lie. Maybe I'd say you put him over in like the 60, 70 range because he's been good. I think 89 is a little bit too low. Probably the best player on the Spurs. Hopefully he's not their only one in here. Well, speaking of the Spurs, there's Spencer Dinwiddie. Um, he is the starting point guard alongside Luka Doncic. Okay. So he's had a pretty good year. Um, I think this is a pretty good spot for him. Russell Westbrook. Oh, my goodness. They have him at 87. Now, at the start of the year, Westbrook wasn't doing much. He looked really bad. But then they moved him to the six-man spot, and he started doing better. I think 87 is way too low. Like, Russ is still a really good player. I'd put him in the 50 range. Now, a lot of you guys might not agree with me. And no, he's not good offensively, but he's still a very, very good player. And he's shown that he can still ball out. Gary Trent Jr., he's good. With the Rockets, yeah, volume four. Yeah, I agree with that. Good passer. Good shooter, too. 85 to 81. Harrison Barnes. Okay. He's a good player. I'm going to try to speed through these so that we can get to the top 50 a little bit faster. Christian Wood. I'm going to talk about him a little bit. Christian Wood is a good scorer. He's going to work good with his team. And I think he should be a little bit higher on this list. They have Yusuf Nurkic, Franz Wagner. He's a good young guy. Um, Yeah, they said, this is spicy. Unless you watch Franz Wagner rain off the dribble hell upon defenses in the Eurobasket, in which case this isn't spicy enough. He closed his rookie with his – don't know what that says <laughs> – He's a good offensive player. I think he should be a little bit higher on the list. D'Angelo Russell. Timberwolves made a big move to get Rudy Gobert. Okay. 
Thanks. Colin Sexton, he's a young guy. I want him to be good. I really do. Paulo. Now, Paulo is out for the season now, but he is so good. He's so good. Oh, my goodness. He's going to be such a beast later. And Fruity Simons. I think Paulo is better than him. Oh, they have a tie here. Tie with Clint Capella and Anthony Simons. I would think Clint Capella is a little bit better. Had a better career. Julius Randle this low after winning most improved player. Seems a little bit weird. Kyle Lowry, Malcolm Brogdon, Julius Randle. I think he should be higher. I think he should be by the 50 range. I mean, after winning most improved player, I know he hasn't had that good of a season last year, but still, he's a good guy. Al Horford, he he kind of, I'm not going to say carried. He was really good in the playoffs for the Celtics last year. I was rooting for them in that final, but they didn't come out with it. Miles Turner, he's one of the best shooting centers in the league. We'll see how he does this year for the rest of it. I think 7-1 is a good spot for him. Now, 72-66. Let's see. They have Jalen Green. Young guy, I like Jalen Green with the Rockets. I think he'll be good. Jonas Valanciunas. I think he's one of the underrated players. I like this so far. Tobias Harris. Michael Porter Jr. a little bit low. Vooch. Oh, my God. I'm a Bulls fan. He's been so horrible this year. I don't know what to say. Like, he's a, he's obviously a good player, but he's just been so bad this year. I think that's the right spot for him, though. Jeremy Grant. Maybe a little bit lower for him. Porzingis. I like Porzingis. OG, I don't know. Tyler Hero. Jalen Brunson. He's having a great season. The Knicks, actually, I'm pretty sure they have a playoff spot right now, which is a little bit crazy. They did make it last year, but Jalen Brunson is a key part of that. I think he should be maybe even in the top 40. Good player. There's John Collins. He's a good big man. Maybe a little bit higher for him. RJ, I love RJ Barry. Now, this is a little bit high. I don't know if I would put him above John Collins. Or Jalen Brunson, in that matter. I think Jalen Brunson is better than him. But he definitely has a high ceiling. I love RJ Barrett. I'm a, I'm a big fan of where they put him. Mikael Bridges, one of the best two-way players in the league. Definitely helped the Suns get as far as they did in the playoffs a couple years ago. Tyrese Maxey. He's been injured for a lot of the year. But he's so good. Oh, my gosh. If the 76ers could have stayed out of injuries, they would have been crazy. Jordan Poole. You saw him go off in the uh, championship game. Overall, yeah, he's a he's a good bench scorer for a team with the lead. I agree with that. Jordan Poole, very good player. I think 56 is the right place to put him. 55 to 51. Desmond Bain is a really good player. I agree with putting him here. Jaron Jackson, okay. Got a lot of young guys here so far. Well, not really. In. I feel like Marcus Smart should be higher. He's coming off defensive player of the year. Like, put him in the top at least like 45 or something. Tyrese Halliburton, really? I love Tyrese. He's one of the best passers in the game. Yeah, sneaky pick to lead the NBA in assists per game. I think he should be higher than this. I think he should definitely be in the top 50. They're trying to seek him out because he's not the best on defense, not the best scorer, but I think he should be in the top 50. Now we got 50 to 45. Starting off the top 50, DeMontis Sabonis, one of the best scoring big men, great rebounder. He is very good. Ty, we have a tie here with Ben Simmons. Wow, this seems really high for him. He hasn't been able to shoot at all. But let's see, he's tied with Cade Cunningham. Cade Cunningham in the top 50. That's really high for both these dudes. I'm not sure. We got De'Aaron Fox. And Draymond. I love Draymond. I'm such a big Draymond fan. I know he hasn't had the best time off the court, but when he's playing, he's a beast. He doesn't score, but he does everything else super well. And he is tied with Jarrett Allen. Big, big man. Young. Defense and mobility. I agree with that. Cavs are so good. They have been great. CJ McCollum. Okay. I guess. I agree with that. High 44, maybe a little bit. There's Clay. And then we have a tie with Scotty Barnes and Fred Van Leet. Two um Raptors, I think. Fred Van Leet, really good coming off an all-star year. Hopefully he can keep that up for the rest of this one. And Scotty Barnes. I agree with this. He just won rookie of the year, making some improvement. I think this is a good spot for him. Now we have 40 to 36. I love DeAndre Ayton, former number one overall pick. Very good player. Emo, 
Evan Mobley, he is just cracking. Yeah, what's up, voice? That he's a really good young player. I think he could get a lot better. Darius Garland, most of the best young point guard debates the last year have been sitting around Trey Young, Joe Morant, Lamelo Ball, but he is really good. Yeah, he made an All Star game, averaged twenty one points. He had a very good season. Same with Jamal Murray. He was hurt for a while. Injuries. There's definitely concerns with that. But when he's playing, he is a beast. Here's Dejounte Murray, um, on the Hawks, coming. Oh my God, coming from the Spurs, he's a really good young point guard as well. They did he, he did get traded from the Spurs to the Hawks, like I said, but I think this is a good spot for him. Now we have thirty five to thirty one. I love seeing Drew so high. He's so good on defense. He's just such a good player all around. I love Drew, Demar. So I love DeMar DeRozan. He's, I, as a Bull fan, he, he's one of my favorite players. He's been crazy this year. I think he deserves to be in the top 20. After how good he's been, like maybe in top 15, he's been crazy. There's Shy. Shy is so good. SGA, dude. He's going to carry this team. Hopefully they get, if the Thunder get like Wemben Yam, oh my gosh, they would be crazy. LaMelo, he's been hurt a lot. Um, I might put, I think I would put him inside the top 25. He's one of the best young point guards. He's tall. He's fast. He can shoot. He can do everything, really. I think he's that good. I think he's a little bit underrated because everybody says he's overrated because, like, nobody really likes. Well, I'm not going to say likes the ball family. Nobody's that big of a fan of the ball family. Like, they just kind of get clowned on. And I think that makes LaMelo a little bit underrated. CP3. I'm surprised to see his highest rating is 18. It's a little bit. I'm surprised about that. CP3, he is very old. He's turning 38 later. Very, very old. But he led the NBA in assists. He's such a good passer. He and Devin Booker are just going to carve the league up. And I think the Suns are going to have a great rest of the season. Now we have 30 to 26. Bam Adebayo. I love Bam. He, I was watching the All-Star game a couple years ago. I think he won the um, all-around skills player. I remember him for that. He's just such a good player. So young. He's already a defensive player of the year contender. He's so good. Next, you have Chris Middleton. He was hurt for most of the playoffs, um, but he's definitely a good player. He and Giannis, they have Drew, too, who's up there. The Bucks are going to be a very good team for this this year. Pascal Siakam. This seems a little bit low for him, honestly, but he was an all-NBA player. Third team for a reason. Exactly. He's physical aggressive, just like they're saying over here. Levine. I think that DeRozan should be higher than Levine by far. Levine has done nothing this year. He's been hurt, but he's so athletic. He's such a good player. I'm not mad about him being up here. Anthony Edwards. 25 is really high for him. Or 26. Um, I don't think that he's a top 25 player, so I agree with that. And maybe just keep him outside. It's a good ranking. Now with the top 25, I see Zion already. I don't know. Maybe he's even in the top 10, Zion. He's been very good. Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal hasn't done much this year. I would definitely put him a lot lower than that, to be honest. Brandon Ingram. Oh, I just saw Kyrie. Uh, Brandon Ingram emerged an all-star with the New Orleans Pelicans. He's such a good player. He's such a good shooter. That whole Lakers team, like Julius Randle came out of there and b- became good. Brandon Ingram came out of there and became good. I think Julius Randle should have been so much higher. Um, but Brandon Ingram, he's a really good player, and I think he deserved to be here. Now, this, these two are two that I would love to talk about. Kyrie Irving. He should not. do. I am Obviously, Kyrie did some horrible stuff. He said some anti-Semitic things on Twitter. He's just a bad person to have on your team. He's a bad person to have in the locker room. And for that, I don't. He's obviously top ten talent, but he's not a good team player. He's bad in the locker room. He's bad for your team morale, your fans. Like if I were a Nets fan, I would hate Kyrie Irving. He's just not a good personality to have on your team. And for that, I don't think he should even be in the top fifty. Next, we have Zion. I think that Zion should be so much higher. He's so, like, obviously there have been injury concerns. He hasn't been as good as everybody thought. But he's still so good. He's so big. He's so strong. He's so talented. He could score on anybody in the league. I don't care. He's the best post defender. Anybody. He's scoring on you. Donovan Mitchell. Again, Spida. He's so good. One of the best players in the league. I hope that he has a bounce back year. Um, 
he already is really the Cavs have been so good um I think it'll be cool to see if they can win another championship next Rudy Gobert obviously Rudy Gobert he's pretty well known for his uh microphone stunt if you don't know beginning of the COVID year Rudy Gobert he didn't believe in COVID so he like breathed or he licked like all the microphones in the press conference or something. And then he got like COVID the next day and couldn't play for like a month. So, but besides that, Rudy Gobert is one of the best defensive players in the league. I think he is a top 20 player. I agree with this ranking. Next, Jalen Brown, another great defender, definitely deserves to be there. James Harden, it sucks. He's been injured so much, but he still deserves to be a top 20 player. He has top 20 talent. Same thing with Anthony Davis, top 20 talent. It's just the injuries that are bringing him down. Carl Anthony Towns, this is really high for him. I don't think a lot of people agree with him over Anthony Davis. But, yeah, he's one of the best scoring big men in the league, just like it says down here. He's not the best on defense, but with the Timberwolves bringing in Rudy Gobert, that's kind of helping him. Maybe he, they can move him over to the power forward position later in the year. But he's just such a good scorer. He definitely deserves to be in there. Maybe not the top 15, though, which is why I understand the 16 rank. Next, we have 15 to 11, almost at the top 10. 15, Paul George. I agree with that. I think that's a good pick. Damian Lillard. Um, I agree with this. This is good so far. We have some two very good players, maybe a little bit older. Devin Booker. I think Devin Booker should be a top 10 player. He gets hated on so much, but he's just that good. Um, And then there's Trey Young. Not a top 10 player, I think. 12 is a good spot for him. And Jimmy Butler. Oh my, I need to read this. That is very, very high for Jimmy. Age and mileage are beginning to catch up with Jimmy Butler. But when you need a player to step up in a big moment, few players do so better than him. The 33-year-old is coming off a strong playoff run. 20. Okay, so they think that because he's just so good in the playoffs that he is a top 20 player. And I agree with that. Jimmy Butler, a lot of you guys won't like this, but as a Bull fan, Jimmy Butler is like, Probably my favorite player of all time. I grew up watching Bulls games. I grew up watching Jimmy Butler. I just love him so much. I think he's so good. Um, and that's why I'm so glad to see him here. He definitely isn't the top 10 player, but he's so good. And I definitely think he deserves to be here. Ja Morant at number 10. He's had such a good season. I've been saying it from the beginning. I think he's going to win MVP. Ja Morant is just so good. He's so athletic. I think he deserves to be higher on the top 10. He's it says perhaps the game's most dynamic and slasher and finisher. I agree with that. He puts out crazy dunks. He makes crazy moves. He can shoot. Now Kawhi is here. I I don't think Kawhi should be in the top 10. Um, Obviously, this was maybe before the season started. He's been injured too much. It's just the injury concerns. I think he is a top 10 player talent-wise, obviously. It's just the injuries. He's not a top 10 player anymore. Eight, LeBron James. Obviously, he's getting older, and I think that's why he's lower on this list. But he's such a good player. Maybe he should be a little bit higher, but I like, I like seven Tatum. Tatum is so good. Led his team to the finals. Unfortunately, they didn't come out with the win. The Warriors did obviously, but Tatum's such a good player. He's shown that he has what it takes in the playoffs, even though he's not the most clutch player. Well, I shouldn't say that he did have a buzzer beater, but he's shown he has what it takes to bring a team to the finals. He showed that he is that top 10 player that everybody thought he would be. Six, Joel Embiid. That is such a crime. I think he should be in the top five. It's just there's so many good players in the league that I don't think he gets a spot there. And it's such a, like, Joel Embiid is so good. It's such a crime. He totally deserves to be in the top five. It's just there's so much talent in the NBA right now. Number five, KD. One of the best mid-range shooters of all time. He's so good. He can do anything with the team. Hopefully the Nets don't disappoint. I want to see them be good. Steph, all the way number four. I've seen some lists putting Steph at, like, number one. I disagree with that. I think four is a good spot for him. I think, yeah, I th- I don't think that he is as good as he used to be. Like, obviously, he just won the championship and all. And that was his first finals MVP. I did not know that. But he's older now, and I agree with this spot putting him at number four. Three, we have Luka. I think this is the perfect spot for him. Luca's so good. He's so tall. He's so big. He's just not fast. And I think if he's a little bit faster, he had the athleticism of somebody like Ja, he would be so insane. Number two, Jokic. Dude, I might 
obviously number one is going to be Giannis, but Jokic is so good. Back-to-back MVP winner. He's just such a good passer, such a good player. He can lead any team. Yeah, he's on track to be one of the greatest all time. He's so good. Back-to-back MVPs. Still pretty young. He's so good, Jokic is. And number one, obviously, Giannis Antetokounmpo, one of the most dominating players in MLB. MLB in NBA history probably has to go Shaq but he's just so good he's so much fun to watch brought his team to a championship won a couple of MVPs defensive player in his team exact he's just so good and that is why I agree with Giannis being at number one if you liked this list make sure to subscribe to the channel leave a like on this video And I'm going to be putting what I think the top 10 is in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bench Warmer Ben, out.